Hey everyone, welcome back to TechWise. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix those annoying VAN 9001, VAN 9003, or VAN 9090 errors when trying to launch Valorant on Windows 11. Let's get started. So first, what causes these errors? Valorant uses a security system called Vanguard, and it needs two Windows 11 security features to be active, Secure Boot and TPM 2.0. If either one is turned off, Valorant won't start. That's when you see one of these messages. You'll see VAN 9001 or VAN 9003 when Secure Boot or TPM is disabled. And you'll see VAN 9090 when TPM fails to initialize. So let's make sure your system support both. Let's go to your Windows search bar and type system information. Then press enter. In the windows that open, scroll down and look for secure boot state. If it says on, great, you're good. If it says off, we'll fix that next. Now let's check the TPM. Click on the windows icon and let's type tpm.msc and click on it from the result. If you see TPM manufacturer information with version 2.0 here at the bottom, that means the TPM 2.0 is enabled. If it says TPM not found, we'll enable it through the BIOS next. Now this step is important and I'll walk you through it carefully. We need to enter your BIOS settings. To do that, click on the start menu and let's type recovery options and click on it from the result. Under advanced startup, click on the restart now. Your computer will reboot into a blue screen. From here, let's choose Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then UEFI for Meyer Settings. Then click on Restart. Your system will now boot straight into the BIOS setup. Now here, your boot menu might look slightly different than mine, which is for an MSI laptop, but the options will be very similar no matter what brand you have. And once you're inside the BIOS, let's go to the security tab and locate secure boot and set the secure boot support to enable. Next, find trusted computing and enable security device support for TPM 2.0. Now, based on your computer's brand, the TPM may be listed as PTT, FTPM, or Secure Chip. Once you've enabled both features, let's save and exit the BIOS. Once restarted, let's try launching Valorant and see if it has been fixed. If you still see the VAN 990, that means the TPM didn't initialize properly. Here's how to fix it. Click on the Windows icon and let's type tpm.msc and click on it from the result. To your right in the TPM management on local computer window, click on the prepare the TPM and just follow the on-screen instructions. Now if it's grayed out, click on clear TPM and it should be enabled now. Once done, restart your computer and try launching Valorant again. Here's the official Valorant article on how to fix those fan errors. Here, you'll find exactly where in the BIOS you need to go for your PC brand. I left the link in the video's descriptions below. Now, if the issue still won't go away, most likely your BIOS might be outdated. Older BIOS versions sometimes have TPM bugs. There are two ways to update the BIOS. The easiest way is through the Windows Update. From the Windows icon, let's type Windows Update Settings and click on it. Then click on Advanced Options, 
then let's open the optional update. If you see any firmware update, that's your BIOS. Select it, then click on install. If nothing shows up here, you'll need to download and install the BIOS manually. From the start menu, let's type MS Info 32 and open the system information. Scroll down and you'll see your motherboard manufacturer and model listed here. So let's open a browser and type your motherboard's name and model. Followed by the word BIOS download. And from the result, look for the official manufacturer website, download the latest BIOS, and then install it. After the update, restart your computer, and hopefully that will fix the issue. And as always, if this video helped you out, please hit the like button and subscribe for more quick and clear Windows and gaming fixes. Thank you for watching.